Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Cooking with Pouncey. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you like what you see, please hit that like button and please, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that if you have a mind to and pass this on as you see fit as well. Taking my smokers on, I'm trying to attain, my, not trying, I'm going to get my temperature up to about 250. Uh, for the smoke that I'm going to be doing, uh, I would advise that you guys watch my um, uh, Pouncey's famous rib uh, smoke that I did uh, for the 4th of July, which is coming up for those of you who may need a tip or two about your smoking process. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be doing these smoke beef ribs today, though. So, uh, so I've got about a four and a half hour cook or smoke on these uh, beef ribs. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and bear with me for a little bit. I'm going to lower my camera and show you what's going to happen with these succulent beef ribs. Here they are. And that's uh, about seven pounds of uh, beef ribs. And that's what we're going to be smoking here in just a little bit. I'll show you my uh, process in terms of getting them ready for the smoker. Um, I've got some olive oil here. You can certainly use any oil of your choosing uh, to just kind of coat them or not. They've got lots of fat on them as you can see here as well. I've got, guys, if you've watched my video from my Pouncey's Famous Ribs, I bought this uh, seasoning from my local market a little while back. I tried it on those ribs and they were really, really good. And don't be afraid to experiment with uh, rubs that you see on the market, on the commercial market. I've got many myself that I may put together myself and perhaps you do as well. So, but don't be afraid to branch out and uh, try some different stuff. And this stuff, it's called uh, Texas Style Barbecue Seasoning and from my local uh, market. So, again, you can do your own. I've got some salt here, just regular salt. You certainly can use sea salt or um, kosher salt or whatever salt you want to use on yours. I've got some coarse ground black pepper. It's a very simple seasoning that's going to go in this, in this process. Watch your sodium, guys. I know that this Texas style uh, barbecue seasoning has salt in it. I'm going to be adding just a little more salt because I, I, I kind of can, gut, can gauge the amount of uh, salt that I'm putting on based on what I'm using from, from here. And I'll be coating these pretty liberally with, with this stuff too. So anyway, I think that's it <clears throat> for the ingredients. I've got my salt. I've got my seasoning. My new seasoning I got from my supermarket. I got a little olive oil to coat these things as well. I'm not going to bore you with the removing the uh, the membrane or the silver skin. You guys more likely know what that is and uh, know how to take it off. Uh, please watch my video from the uh, the rib that I smoked last week called uh, Pouncey's Famous Ribs, and you can see how I do that. Okay, these have been already prepped, with the exception of removing that silver skin from the back. And you, you guys probably already know what that is, right? So I'm going to be processing these without boring you with how I do that. There isn't a whole lot of fat I need to trim off them off of them either. Uh, I can see the bare bone on this one here and uh, another one over there saw the bare bone as well. But again, there's not a whole lot of fat you got to trim off of these things. So I uh, hope you can see this. Um, yeah, uh, this one here is like broken here. So that's okay. All right, got some excess fat here. I'll trim just a little of that off. Most of it will render off, guys, okay, as a, in the cooking process. So don't worry about that little bit of fat cover right there. But I'm going to take this off because I know I don't need that. But again, that would actually render off. So you're going to just kind of skim that off a little bit. And rather than taking the membrane or the silver skin off, that's what I'm going to do just for the sake of trimming something off of it. There's, a, there's that membrane again. And again, I should have been able to get a paper take a paper towel and just rip that off. And typically that's what you do. But again, this, somehow or another, the meat cutter did his, his or her thing with these things. And it made it a little bit more difficult. But that's okay. I'm going to make it work again. Not a whole lot of trimming on the front side of them at all. There's a little bit of knob of fat right there. Just trim that off. I didn't have to. It'll 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 render off actually. Okay. So why am I still cutting it? Just to show you, you can just trim some of that off without getting meat. There is a lot of meat on them too, is in between the bones. Okay. So these things are very very flavorful. If you've never tried them, don't be afraid of them. They're just like cook them just like you do your uh, your uh, baby backs or your spare ribs. And they are really phenomenal. But at the same time, cook time, four, four and a half hours. And again, that's what I'm going to do. So here's a little bit of a fat cover right here. Uh, rather than talking about it, let me just trim that off just a little bit. And get that off a little bit. You see, I'm going down. And I'm trying not to hit the meat. And I won't. If you see meat, just pretend you didn't. Okay, I'm, I'm staying pretty close to the, to the meat there, guys. Okay, don't cut your hand trying to get that little bit of fat off. A little bit of fat is going to render off anyway, all right? So 
So there you have it. See, I've been chopping at it, and I didn't cut. I didn't touch any meat. That also will render off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my seasoning on. Very simple seasoning. Uh, a little olive oil, like I said, I'll go to, and a little um, salt and pepper, and my little special barbecue Texas barbecue stuff I bought. Right. So let's just do that. I'm going to coat this a little bit. Notice I'm not touching anything with this hand because I had my the meat on, <laughs> on this hand, and that's called cross-contamination. We don't want to do that. Should have opened these already, but I didn't, guys. Forgive me. So let's just do this so we can get these things done. Done as in get them finished, yeah, I guess. So let me get a salt that's already open. I know I've got one here. Okay. And I got my salt. So, again, about a half teaspoon on each one of these things is all I need, guys. Okay. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's just do that, and let's just do that. That's about a half a teaspoon on each one, and I'm going to just rub. And this is just so my seasoning will adhere better, and it will. You don't have to do this, guys, either. You really don't. I just do it because I like the smell of olive oil. Just kidding. All right, since these are big, as in long big, I may, a little, I may need a little bit more than that half a teaspoon. I'm, I'm used, to, usually do, used to doing this with beef, uh, excuse me, pork ribs. And the, and the bones are a lot shorter, and I use about a half a teaspoon on each one. But I also usually have enough to go to the other side, so let's just do that. A little bit. I'm just making it, I want to see it glistening, that way I know that spice is going to stick to it. Same here, same here, okay? Let's do the same thing here. Very simple, guys. In here, let's do the same thing. All right, I think that's all the olive oil I need. I'm going to coat all of it, the tips of the bones, side of it. Because you want people, when they're sucking on the bones, to have flavor all over, right? So that's why I'm doing this all over, just like that, right? Like the fanatic I am. So. Right here on the end home here again. I'm done. I'm done, guys. What did it take? Less than five minutes. We're ready. We're ready. It's okay if they sit there for a little bit. I want them to get closer to room temperature than coming right out of the refrigerator. And they have been out for a little bit. So anyway, these are done. These are done, guys. Not done. These are finished. Putting my seasonings on them. Next time you see these bad boys, they'll be going in the smoker. Okay, guys. I hope you can see this. Here, uh, here's our scrumptious looking raw ribs and here's our smoker I got my wood chips I'm using hickory here in this cook so let's get to get these things in here without melting <laughs> melting my gloves and I've got what, three of them I'm gonna put these two on there 
And we'll put two down here. They look good, guys, I'm telling you. Just with that rub on them, they look really good. Bone side down. My temperature's gonna be about 250, excuse me. 250, and they're going on. And the next time I look at them, guys, I'll be able to see them through the door of my smoker here as well. You might be able to see that. It's got a glass door on it here. I'm going to be looking at them in about two, two and a half hours. And uh, going for the four and a half hours. Could maybe less than that. But I want them to be like, not just fork tender, but like the consistency of butter that you can just stick that probe down in and pull it out and it comes right out. So that'll be in about four and a half hours, uh, give or take. All right. About two... Uh, in a half hours, I'll look at these and we'll see where they are. Two and a half uh, hours later, this is the first time I'm opening the chamber here. I unlock it here and uh, I maintained about a 255 on this cook so far. They look really, really good. So I'm hoping you can see that. I'm peering down at the camera here. They look really, really good, guys. Really good. So I'm going to do this as quick as I can. Here's that one. Okay, it's looking good. That's two and a half hour mark again, okay? And I, all I'm gonna do right now is, I've got a little uh, water and barbecue sauce that I use as a, like a little spritzer thing. My uh, pump thing broke, thing. Broke as in got plugged up and wouldn't spray anymore. This is just barbecue sauce. I usually rinse out my barbecue sauce bottles with water, and then I use the, the that for my water pan, if you will, and for this here, for what I'm doing right now. So. I modified my little Coke bottle here, put a little tiny hole in it with a, with a safety pin, and just going to wet them, and then I'm close this door, and two more hours from now, guys, these are going to be ready. And again, I'm just squirting that on, as you can see, just to wet them, and just even my little pin hole here is just plugging up as well. So, anyway, that's all I want to do to those. Back in there, they go, excuse my reach, guys, and they do look very, very good, all right? So two and a half hours from now, you'll see them again inside the house. Probably be getting dark, dark here then too. But they're going to be ready at that point, guys. So any, anyway, uh, we're still rocking and rolling with the uh, beef ribs. And I think they're going to turn out very, very well. But you'll be seeing that for yourself in about another two hours. All right, guys, you're going to have to put up with my camera bouncing around. I was trying to get it on my little stand there, and I uh, did not succeed. So I'm going to just hold this as steady as I possibly can. Uh, we're at a uh, four hours and, oh gosh, about 22 minute cook. I think they're ready. I'm going to open the door and let you guys see this marvelous. Oh my gosh, they look good. They really, really, really look good. I'm going to pull that out for you so you can see it. And again, excuse my ineptness here. I think that's a word. Put this camera deal here, guys, okay? Look at the pullback, guys. That's what we're looking for. That's what you're looking for, okay? Look at the pullback. Look at the pullback. And you want that buttery sensation. We're going to stick a thermometer in there. So I'm just going to use my probe, and here it is. I've talked to you guys many times about using your thermometers. This time I'm telling you not to. You don't have to, okay? As long as you got a pullback like that. And So what, we, what I'm after here, I'm the tenderness, okay, guys? Just like butter. Just like butter. Just like butter. That is amazing, just like butter, guys. Oops, I'm going to open the camera in the wrong place here. i to get this one here. I'm trying not to burn my hand at the same time. Anyway, she goes in and out just like butter, all right? That's what you want, guys. I'm going to be bringing these back inside. Again, that's a four-hour and 22-minute cook or something like that. And I better not try to do anything fancy with this thing I've got in my hand here either. But next time you see them, guys, it'll be they'll be inside. I'm going to let them rest for just a little bit. And then I'll show you a presentation. They, again, they look very, very good. Four and a half hours, uh, probably five minutes shy of the four and a half hours. Very moist. They're going to be very tender. I'm going to cut one of them here for you. The only one that didn't get like I wanted it was a real thin one. that I could see the, the bones and stuff before I even uh, uh, smoked them, okay? But it's very, very tender. You can see that. I'm going to cut one of them just here. At least here just a minute for you. I was going to eat that, but not in front of you guys. So let's get this guy right here. They look really, really good. I'm doing this right here. They look really, really good. So let's cut this one here. I think I'm going to come down and hit the hit between the bone, I hope. Now that knife is just like butter going through there. I hope I get right through. I did. Oh, that looks good. My, my, my. That looks good. It's got a nice smoke ring. 
Got lots of moisture in there. I hope you guys can see that. Got lots of juice in there, okay? Got lots of moisture. It's also very hot. But anyway, okay guys, I'm back for the presentation. Uh, this one here, this one here. I've got two of those ribs. Of course, they are absolutely scrumptious. I've been nibbling off of them since I shut the camera off. Anyway, they are really, 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 one more time, really good. Anyway, these are beef ribs, and if you've never tried those before, guys, please give them a try. They are, uh, they are phenomenal. I've got some potato salad on this one that I made last evening uh, for this presentation, okay? And I've got some barbecue sauce here, with or without. You don't have to put any sauce on them at all if you don't want to. Got a couple little peppers on there just for the taste buds. And uh, that's it for this shot. i got some uh, corn uh, on the cob. I'm going to do another presentation. You'll see that on the video, guys, or uh, if you tune in to... Facebook, you'll see it on Facebook. Anyway, so I'll be putting some corn, a, a, a corn cob on the other one presentation, okay? But again, that's the one that I did up for this evening, and it looks absolutely really, really good. I think that's a nice presentation, guys. Again, thank you so much for tuning into my channel, Cooking with Pouncy, and if you like what you see, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that, guys. 